My name is Susan Crawford and I am the mother of a young man with severe autism and currently I'm undertaking promoting the whole notion of autism awareness throughout Ireland and I've decided to start with the Wild Atlantic Way. I want to address driving positive physical activity for children and adults on the spectrum so I'm undertaking running the route to bring both autism active, autism aware agendas to people's lives. That's actually the route. We're out here at the old head of Kinsale and we travel over first Kinsale Clonakelty and then we go on to Ross Carberry, Skibbereen, Skull and work our way all along up to Kinmare. This journey really came, the whole autism piece came about for me, well first of all obviously because Tomas was diagnosed with condition 20, he's 23, 21 years ago. And people living, working, and in community don't fully understand the whole notion of what is autism spectrum disorder. And I've undertaken since December to roll out autism awareness training throughout the county in Clare and now further afield. One. Three. Seven. Seven. One. One. And the one thing about the Moss was he was getting up in the middle of the night running, which wouldn't be unusual in the world of autism. So I used to get up running with him up and down the hall inside in the lane in Milton. And then when we came out here and built here, I happened to say it below doing big training one night. The lad said to me, God, you look wrecked. I said, I was up one night running with Tomas around the place. I said, we could two with a track around our house, you know. Mm. The following weekend, Thomas Griffin and Tom Brown landed and they dug a trench around this house, literally landed with a digger on the Saturday. And Sunday, the Doombeck footballers had organised for lorry loads of ash to be brought up from Money Pint and they spread it on the track. When we were running, Tomas would hold one end of it and I hold the other. And uh -huh. we also used it then for doing our proprioceptive stretches after, which are stretches for children or adults on the spectrum to uh -huh. give feedback to the different um, muscles, ligaments and tendons. And it's easier for them to participate in stretching if they're getting that kind of feedback. You know. And it's very regulating as well. It makes them feel much better mm -hmm. in their own bodies, etc. I will be running every weekend, realistically, for the next six months. And I will be covering approximately 20 to 25 miles per day. Tomas will be with me every alternate weekend. And when we run, we do what's called tethered running. And this is just because of his um, catatonia of autism that we can be close enough to one another if he needs support. And the great thing here would be, it's an opportunity for family to c come together, to engage together and enjoy healthy living together. And equally, it's good for the carer in that if somebody on the spectrum feels more regulated, more comfortable, confident, competent, the carer has less intervention to be doing. So it, it's a win-win for everybody, actually, and it costs nothing. Now at weekends, when I'm doing the run, I'll be rolling out the training to go along with that uh -huh. as I go. So it should become far more frequent over the next number of months. And as well as that, I have the programme online for people who can't come along and sit in on the actual uh, live sessions.